Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Breon, at your service. And today I'm going to be showing you a cool method on how to make some rice water that also smells pretty fresh. If y'all know about rice water, if you ever try to make it, you know, after it ferments, it is funky than a bow monkey. Like, it literally smells like booty. So, um, I did some research on a video that this girl did. It was very elaborate. She went through a lot of details as far as uh, how the Yahweh women, how they have this long, luxurious hair and it's down to the ground. It's awesome. Um, right now I am cutting a grapefruit and we're gonna be using the pills, uh, you know, for the smell. I'm just gonna get you a nice size jar gonna get you some um, rice I chose brown rice because uh, all of the mineral properties are still covered and coated and of course once the water hits it you know all the brown stuff comes off and it's gonna turn to just regular white rice but uh, that was a tidbit that I found from that video so I decided that I was gonna go ahead and use it after you do all of that you're gonna fill it up with some water um, there's some other special ingredients that you can get uh, or that you're gonna need um, something called faux tea root I actually got it from Amazon you can find it there um, also something called tea seed oil not tea tree but tea seed oil and uh, we're gonna put all these ingredients in this jar um, starting off with the root and you know how us black folks do it. We, you know, we don't measure nothing. We just, you know, do what we think is best. So that's pretty much what I did. I just estimated everything. Um, you know, I'm not too meticulous when it comes to mixes unless it's crucial. And then I'm just mixing it up together. Getting it all in. Excuse the background. I know I had a bunch of dishes and stuff happening here, but they're clean on the other side. They just hadn't been put up yet. They probably won't be put up yet for a while. So yeah, I'm just putting that in here and then I'm going to store it. And uh, this is going to be day one. I'm going to try to store it for at least three days. And then we'll get to it. How are y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? I hope so. And I hope y'all enjoying this video. Thank you all for tuning in. All right. So this is literally day three. This is what it looks like. It's a little discoloration going on there. But I was very pleased because, uh, oh yeah, you're gonna need uh, a strainer. And I'm using, being a little ghetto, I'm gonna use a Taco Bell cup. Ain't nothing wrong with recycling. But yeah, when I opened it, um, it was a really, really decent smell. I was very shocked. Last time I did rice water, it was horrible. I'm like, dang, I gotta put this in my head. So yeah, now we are just pouring in the liquid. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it pretty good. I'm just gonna pour it in there till you can't pull no more. Pour it in there till you can't pull no more. Yeah, it actually had a really, really good scent. You can smell the, the herb and you can also smell the grapefruit peel. And uh, you do not smell any funk a dunk dunk at all, I promise you. And so I just filled it up with waters because, hey, we like to recycle here and it may mix some more. So I'll just store that for another three days. I got me a little spray bottle that I got from Sally's. You can get these bottles at any beauty supply. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the liquid in there. Right now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna spray all this junk in my hair. All right, so as y'all can see, um, my hair is very, very dry. When I tell you, my hair is going through it. Now, it was crazy because like I said, I wasn't really feeling my best doing this video. I was kind of bummed out because literally my hair sheds crazily. 
I mean, it's insane how much hair sheds out of my hair. My hair has been shedding probably for about a good solid six months straight. I don't know how I don't have bald spots, but uh, yeah, I'm just not happy about the shed. Y'all may think I'm going crazy, like it's all in your head, but y'all have no idea. Um, but pretty much I'm just spraying the rice water all throughout my head. Um, sometimes it takes a while from my hair type to absorb the water. So I'm constantly going to be spraying it. I'm just trying to get a good grip and a good position. And that way, you know, the spray can go in the way it needs to. But, um, yeah, y'all, I, when I tell y'all I'm bummed out that my hair is shedding like that and I don't know what's going on. Um, I will be doing a part two. Uh, the part two video is just going to be me uh, kind of giving you a conversation about just what I've been going through with my hair. So y'all know exactly what prompted me to even do this video. Now, this is the crazy part because this is where I make all the crazy face. Y'all know that crazy face when you just get real serious. You be looking like kind of crazy. Um, this is d different combs that I've been using to help me detangle. And y'all see some of that shed that's coming out of it yeah this is this is common this is every day i'm going through the shedding i promise you i don't know what it is oh yeah i'm also um because i'm getting desperate so i'm putting you know how y'all get desperate you just start throwing all types of products in that mug so that's what i'm doing i got that um wild growth oil pretty pricey sometimes but you can get it at a um beauty supply as well i heard it works wonders i like the smell then after I uh, twist it up, I'm going to bun it up like that. And I'm pretty much going to do that through all the parts of my head. So that is that. So I'm going to definitely be continuing speeding this video up. I hope you all are enjoying this video again. Leave me some comments. If you have any tips, if you have any miracle stories, products, whatever that you can use. I don't know if y'all saw that, but uh, I had pulled out a big ball of hair, but I'll be showing it again at the end of the video. I was kind of looking like, uh, what's that Spice Girl, Mel B? I was giving you uh, Mel B tees, wasn't trying to, but hey. Some more hair shed that's coming out. And, uh, yep. But y'all, I'm telling you, if y'all have any tips, let a brother know. How do you stop this hair shit? Like how? How do you stop all this hair shit? This is like literally every day. Like I promise you, I could possibly, and no exaggeration, make a wig out of all the hair that has come out of my head. That is just crazy. Like this is not fun. This is not fun at all. But as y'all can see, and I also got some new growth coming in in my roots. I'm gonna coat it just one more again. And then I'm gonna cover it with a bag because I'm gonna sleep on it overnight. All right, y'all. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in and thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned for the part two for the conclusion. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.